Hey guys, it's Erica Stone, and I wanted to do a tutorial on using the new Google uh, Keyword Planner tool in replacement of the Google Keyword tool. Uh, I know some people are a little worried they won't be able to use it the same way, but it's really pretty simple and you get much of the same information that you got before, but in a different format. In order to use the tool, you do have to log into your Google AdWords account. It's free to have a Google AdWords account, and uh, once you're in there, you would click on the Tools and Analysis tab in the green bar and select the Keyword Planner. Interesting, you'll see, uh, yesterday mine did say I had the Google Keyword Tool as an option in here, but it's no longer there. Now it's the Planner. Once the Planner comes up, you have three options. You can search for a keyword in ad group ideas, which was similar to the Google keyword tool before. You could enter or upload a list of keywords, a whole a set of keywords. You can actually paste in, uh, I think it's up to, eight, eight, up to 999 or some keywords in, at one time and have it run the analysis. Or you can actually import or create um, lists by combining different kinds of keywords to see what comes up. We're just going to click the search for keyword in ad group ideas um, and use it the way we used to. Let's say I want to look for Halloween costumes for girls. Um, it has a landing page box and that you would use if you wanted to do some keyword research on your own site or on another site and see what the, what keywords Google suggests for a different page online. Or you could enter a category. Um, but I just want to look for some ideas for this particular phrase. Now down here I can change. I can click on any of these boxes and change the selections for country and targeting. You can click on the box again to shrink it. I could change my language preference. I can click on Google and look at Google and search partners. I use just Google. Um, I can take out, uh, add negative keywords. If I don't want free, uh, I don't want keywords that have the word free in them. If I don't want do-it-yourself costume ideas, if I don't want homemade, I can just add those in the box and then click in the top here to shrink the box again. I can add filters and say I only want keywords that have greater than or equal to 100 searches a month. The Google Keyword Planner will automatically default to showing you exact search volume for your phrase. So I could add this filter. Um, I could, you know, if I have, if I want to add these additional filters, and it show adult ideas or show keywords in my count or keywords in my plan. If I were working on an AdWords campaign, I could do that. I could also have it include or exclude certain words in the results. If I don't, you know, I'm looking for Halloween costumes for girls. If I don't want to see phrases that include the word boy, I could put it in there. If I want to see only phrases that include the word girl, I could put it in this box and again click in the top of the box to shrink it again. And then I would click uh, Get Ideas. It will default to bringing you to the Add Group Ideas, which is perhaps more useful to those running an AdWords campaign. But for those of us doing keyword research, I like the Keyword Ideas tab, so I'm going to click on that. Now, the problem is the screen seems to be uh, more compact. So my data is here in this middle section, but I can't see a lot of it at once. I can scroll through the list, but look, I can't even see the word. I can't even see the, the phrase over here. Um, and I haven't exactly figured out how to fix that part other than I simply download the data from here and then I can look at it in a spreadsheet on my computer and it's much easier to read and organize the data that way. But you do get you know, all of the same information so this was my main keyword and if you hover over that first letter there sometimes it doesn't do this sometimes you actually see the whole word sometimes you don't. It says Halloween costumes for girls 
The next piece, if you hover over this little chart icon, will give you the month by month segment uh, search traffic data. So I can see, um, you know, August had 5,400 searches and September had 22,000 and October peaks at 33,000 and then whoop, we drop way back down because it's obviously a seasonal keyword. The next num this number is your exact monthly search volume. This competition column is the competition for AdWords data. It's the number of advertisers um, that were bidding, uh, or the level of competition on advertisers bidding for this keyword in AdWords, and does not pertain to search engine optimization or search engine uh, SEO competition. Then there's some cost per click information. Again, that's AdWords and some impression share. But the ideas that were on my list are all down here. You just have to hover over here to see the phrase toddler, girl, Halloween costume, etc. But uh, like I said, I download the data. And when you click on the download button, you get an option. If you want to see the month by month search volume traffic, you must click segment statistics by month. And then I uh, download it to Excel in a CSV format. It will tell me I have 76 ideas. Um, my download is now available. Click to retrieve it. And that should pop up with allowing me to open the data in Excel or your spreadsheet of choice. Uh, and now I can move the columns out so I can see what these keywords were. Halloween costumes for girls, girl Halloween costumes, etc. And then it, I get rid of these columns that are meaningless now. I don't need to know that they came from keyword ideas, so I can delete that. I don't need to know the currency was US dollars. Uh, and then I can expand this row so I can read the monthly information. wrapping the text. So now I know this was August search volume from 2012, September, etc. Um, I don't need the competition uh, column here, the average CPC, but now I can see search volume traffic. I can see the phrases that came up. I could sort them by traffic for the total monthly or the average monthly traffic, or I could sort them by uh, you know, who would add the most activity in September or the most activity in October. And I can compare, you know, keywords that had less act uh, activity uh, in August and more activity in September and October. See here how it goes from 2,900 to 12,000 to 22. A clear sign that phrase is Halloween related. Um, so that's how to use the Google Keyword Planner to do your keyword research. I hope that helps a little bit. Thanks.